In this video, we're going to look at determining if production is technically efficient. A production function defines all technically efficient outcomes. Technically efficient means the firm is producing as much output as possible from a given input mix. Technically inefficient means the firm is producing less output than is possible from a given input mix. So to examine those ideas, we're going to have a firm here that is producing 40 units of output. So the firm is producing 40 units of output using an input mix of L equals 4 and K equals 2. L is units of labor, K units of capital. And we want to determine whether production is technically efficient in the following production functions, following scenarios. So in scenario one, the firm's output is characterized by this production function, and the firm is producing 40 units of output with this input mix. So when we plug L equals 4 and K equals 2 into this production function, what should the firm be able to produce? The firm should be able to produce 40 units, and that is what it is currently doing. So this output-input combination is technically efficient. The firm is getting the most it can from this resource combination. So let's say the firm's production was now described by this production function. Is 40 units of output still technically efficient with this input mix? We plug this input mix into the production function, and it tells us that the firm should really be producing 44 units, but it's only producing 40. So the firm is not getting as much uh, as it can from its input mix. So this is technically inefficient. So once again, the firm should be able to produce 44 units of output, but is only producing 40 units with this input mix. So technically inefficient. Let's do a few other examples. So same setup here. Firm is producing 40 units of output. L equals 4. K equals 2. This time the firm's production process is described by this production function. Plugging 4 and 2 into the production function. And we see the firm it would, should be able to produce 40 units. And that's what it's producing. So this is technically efficient. The firm is getting the most it can from its resources. Uh, with this production function, however, if we plug 4 into 2 in it, we see that the firm should be producing 60 units, but since it's only producing 40, the firm would be producing uh, technically uh, inefficiently here. So the firm should be able to produce 60 units of output, uh, but is only producing 40 units with the input mix of L equals 4 and K equals 2. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.